Reuben Hurricane Carter, the boxer who spent almost 20 years in prison after being wrongfully convicted of murder in Patterson, New Jersey, honored today with the street renamed in his memory. Now, Carter's case became a kind of symbol of racial injustice. He inspired an iconic song and a movie about his life. But in Patterson, there was little sign of his legacy until now. Here's New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson. The street outside the courthouse where Reuben Hurricane Carter and John Artis were wrongly convicted now displays their names. This is for everybody who has experienced this trauma. And I'm just grateful to be here with all the people that loved him and knew that he was innocent. Carter was a boxer whose story spread far and wide. Singer Bob Dylan took up the cause for justice in his lyrics. Here comes the story of the hurricane. And actor Denzel Washington portrayed Carter in the movie The Hurricane. Hurricane is the professional name that I acquired. After his conviction was overturned, Carter fought to help those who were unfairly treated by the criminal justice system. As Reuben Carter and John Artis suffered through this many, many years ago, our young black boys and Spanish boys on the streets of Patterson are dealing with this today. Councilman Mike Jackson pushed the proposal to rename the street. The artists and Carter families have been united since 1966, when Reuben Carter and John Artis were taken into custody and imprisoned. Today, there was a feeling of vindication. You've been through a lot, and to see this today, I am just so happy. Reuben Carter died in 2014 and John Artis in 2021. But their struggles have been honored by great singers, Hollywood, and now in the city where the injustice occurred. I know that he and, and Reuben are smiling down, celebrating right now. This is a great occasion, and I thank you so much for it. This was a big celebration for both families, but especially the family of Reuben Hurricane Carter. He would have turned 88 years old today. In Patterson, New Jersey, Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.